With our current setup, we have the OpenGL window being the entire widget here. If I go back to main, you can see I make my Q application, and then I make my GL window or me GL window. If I F12 on this and we look at me GL window, you see it inherits from QGL widget, and thus it's able to show and display and get this bar across the top with close and minimize and stuff. But the GL window is the entire window. The entire window. I want to add some sliders so I can control some of the things in here without having to recompile and restart this application. But I can't add sliders to an OpenGL window because an OpenGL window is something we draw into. What I need to do instead is make another window, another widget if you would, and I'll put my sliders in this part of the window and I can slide around and control stuff. And then I need to put the OpenGL widget nested inside of this outer window. Maybe I can demonstrate. Let's go back to main here and I'll just pound include QT or Q QT GUI Q widget and then I'll say Q widget me widge. Is that how you spell widge? <laughs> me widge A. Me widge. Me widge dot show and I'll comment the GL stuff out for now. Control F5, build that, run that. We'll see a Q widget show up. Nothing in there, but I still get the nice bars up across the top. I want to put the sliders up here. I want to put our open GL window down here. So the cleanest way design wise to do this is to actually inherit from me widget, just like we did with me GL window inheriting from QGL widget and we did some customization there same thing here I want to inherit from Q widget and and do some customization so let me take this out I'll get rid of this right here control alt L go to graphics pad add class which is a fancy way of telling Visual Studio please give me a header file and a CPP file click add and I'll call it me widget hit enter I get me widget pound include oops not double include Pound include QT GUI, Q widget. I want to inherit publicly from Q widget. And I think that's about it. Let's go over here. Pound include uh, me widget. Now I can say me widget widge widge dot show. We'll get rid of the OpenGL stuff here. Control F5. Obviously, our inheritance didn't add anything useful to a widget, but we get the exact same result. So now when we go over here, we can customize this a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that. And Actually, I don't know why they put void here. You know, the people that make the Visual Studio templates, i got to wonder sometimes. Get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Let me bring this back up so we can see where we're headed. Build started. Build succeeded. Minimize the console window in the background. I'm going to bring this just like that. And what I want to do is put the sliders up here. Like I said before, I want to put the GL window right here. So now we have to start using layouts and the version of Qt I'm using. Again, I'm not going for any Qt excellence here. and I'm not even using the latest and greatest Qt I showed you in earlier videos in this playlist. Then I'm using Qt 4.8, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, I'm using the Qt 4.0 region. I just need a GUI library. I don't need anything awesome quite yet. Maybe later I'll, I'll bump up to a later version. But we need to do layouts. There's two types of layout, or two types of main layouts that come with QT that I'm interested in. There's a vertical layout and a horizontal layout. And so if I add five buttons to a vertical layout, what will happen is the vertical layout will be very vertical. I'll get five buttons. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Now if I do this with a horizontal layout, then what I'll get is five buttons, but the other direction. The buttons will still be oriented the same, but they'll line out like that. So that's the difference between a V-box layout, the vertical layout, versus the horizontal layout. Anyway, let me, don't blink. Okay, I erased all of that. We need, in this case, what I like to do is a vertical layout. I'll have a layout for my widget here, and I'll add another layout, actually, to control all my sliders up here. And then I'll add uh, the GL window down here. So here we go. Let's do it. Pound include QT GUI Q V box 
layout. No IntelliSense support because I didn't put a .h at the end of this file. Why? I don't know. It seems inconsistent because some of the Qt libraries have .hs at the end. I got Qt, QVB up, Q, QVbox layout, QHbox layout. I'm going to make my QVbox layout pointer. I'll call it main layout because that will be the main layout for me widget here. And then I'll say set layout. And I like to do it this way. I say main layout gets new QV box layout. And why do I like to do it that way? Because it shows me that I'm passing control to this pointer. I'm passing control or ownership to my widget. When me widgets destructor executes, and me widget is created on the stack here. So the, const the constructor, the destructor will execute when I hit that closing curly. And that destructor will delete this for me. So I like to just visibly do it that way so I can say, hey, I'm passing ownership of this RAM off to me widge. Uh, anyway, okay, now, now I have main layout. I need to add one more layout. And actually the layout in here, I'm going to be, I'm going to make another vertical layout. What I'll do is this will also be a vertical layout. And then I'll add a bunch of horizontal layouts to it for our GUI. This is kind of primitive GUI setup, but uh, I'm just trying to do something primitive so I can get some control over uh, my, my GUI and that sort of thing. So let's do Q VBox layout. And I'll say controls layout. And I'll say main layout. Hey, why don't you add a layout? Controls layout gets new Q VBox layout. See me passing ownership of this RAM off to this layout, which is owned by me widget, and it just recursively deletes everything. So there we go, there's our controls layout, and then we need the uh, OpenGL pound include, what do I call it, me GL window, and then down here I can say main layout, add widget, a new me GL window, and I think we're good to go. So I'm not adding anything to the controls layout yet, and I just have me GL window control F5, build that, run that. Of course, I have compile errors. I'm pretty good at those. What did I do wrong? Add layout. I have maybe I messed up here. Oh, I had to win one too many cr or, uh, parentheses there. Okay, I uh, can't open it for writing because I have it open in the background. Close that, close that, control F5, build that, run that, and voila, you can see. Me widget is not very impressive. It's very small. Uh, it, when we add layouts, the layouts all of a sudden say, oh, we need to size ourselves according to our children. And what do I have in me? I have a GL window. And the GL window says it doesn't have any size, so I'll just not have any size. And this layout up here is like, well, I don't have anything to show, so I'm not going to show. Anyway, so we get this minimal size thing. But if I drag it out, you can see, oh, there's our scene. There's our scene. So I'm actually going to force our GL window to now have some size. I'll go over here and I don't know if we have, generally I'd like to do this in the constructor. Yeah, yeah. so there's the big debate actually. I'm, I'm actually ignoring this debate, but here in the constructor I'm doing a lot of things that could fail and if it fails, does it throw an exception? If I turn off exceptions, then all of a sudden if it fails, then what happens and blah, 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 blah. And if it does throw an exception, then I gotta catch that. Yeah, yeah, whole long debate I cover in my game engine programming playlist. I'm totally ignoring that debate right now. This is just a scratch pad I'm building up. I'm just trying to build something cool. I don't care about that stuff. Uh, okay, where was I going? Oh yeah, uh, ideally I'd have a constructor on this, but I don't think I do. So I think I have initialize GL. I could add a constructor, but I'm feeling lazy. Set minimum. Size, I'll say, hey, 800 pixels by 800 pixels. In fact, maybe be a little bit wider than you are tall. I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing here. Let's control F5, see what that gives us. Control F5, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's, let's, let's widen it up a little bit, though. Let's say, no, oh, I don't know, 13, 13, 100. Probably the size of the recording area, which would be 12, 1270, actually. So let's I'll take it down to 1,200. 1,200 should be a good number. Okay. Voila. Nice, good size window for the recording area. I think we're good there. There you go. We have uh, a separate widget. I called me widget. We haven't done anything with the controls quite yet, but in the next video we're going to add some sliders, 
Gotta make it so we can control what's going on in the window without having to recompile all the time. 